So, you have all these people saying I told you so. It was just a fad and fads come and go. And while they're correct, especially as it pertains to those people playing only because it was popular and had no idea what Pokemon even were, it's so much more complicated than that. In a nutshell, Niantic shot themselves in the foot, sawed off that foot, and then blinded themselves before the race even began. They saw a flood of problems, and before trying to stop the leak, they wasted time trying to mop it up. They developed an innovative game with a fresh concept and threw in Pokemon to make it a must play. It catalyzed a revolution, drawing nearly a hundred millions attention, but failed to provide anything substantial enough to keep that attention. Pokemon Go feels like a beta, so how do we fix it? Well, first we focus on fun. I'm sitting at home, maybe at work. I pull out the app to pass the time. No gyms, no Pokemon, no Poke stops. Great, I guess I'll just shut off the app? I get it, it's Pokemon Go, not Pokemon Chill. But this isn't fun. Why can't I take out Pokemon I've already caught to play with in AR? And give them a little animation and hear them cry when I tap them. The photo ops this would create alone would immediately double how often most people have the app open. Why aren't there hats or scarves for Pokemon? It may seem silly, and that's because it is, but the bottom line is people would buy these things in a heartbeat, especially if they could pose their Pokemon with their pets or while they're on vacation. Give us a reason to open the app. We don't all live in California or New York, and we're not enjoying Pidgey and Rattatat Go, or Drowsy Go, depending on where you live. Once you reach level 20 in this game, the fun is squarely behind you. Now it's just tedious. If we could set our house as a stop and have it swipeable even once or twice a day, that'd be better than nothing. The only daily bonuses available to us are for stationing our Pokemon at a gym, which admittedly is pretty great. However, not allowing a grace period for those involved in claiming it after teaming up with people and collectively wasting our limited revives and potions only to have someone uninvolved able to slide their Pokemon in isn't great. It's unacceptable. It's not fun. Niantic. I know you're trying to sell Pokeballs, but there's no reason a practice mode to train Pokeball swiping with unlimited Pokeballs and then uncatchable Pokemon shouldn't exist. Especially when the updates seem to turn our fingers into golf clubs. The Pokemon could even be Mew, who always breaks free. It's about training us to hit the mark. But frankly, no training exists in the game at all, which is a little crazy for a Pokemon game. All the Pokemon only exist until a higher CP or better IV Pokemon shows up, at which point the old monsters become fodder for candy. What if we could get a leash and assign it to a Pokemon to take it out for walks and receive a certain amount of candy per distance traveled? Uh, the Go is the core concept of your game. Getting out and moving, and I'll be the first to admit that I'd do so more if I had more incubators. Pokestops need to have even a small chance of dropping these things. 20 plus players don't even receive another infinite use one and at the very least you could make one available for purchase. Incense is pointless at the moment as I'm not willing to pay for extra Pidgey and Rattatat spawns and there should be some way to force rare spawns at least three times once every 10 minutes for the 30 minute duration of an incense. For me? The most fun I had with Pokemon Go was going out to a park thinking no one would be there. To see three lures on three Pokestops and over a hundred people gathered with a common wholesome interest. I don't get out much and I sure as hell don't engage strangers in forced conversation, but something as simple as people asking, have you seen the Dratini? has sparked effortless and comfortable exchanges between people who might otherwise never be so active in a social arena. Held, even Niantic screw-ups gave me something to talk about with the dwindling amount of trainers I'd see at my favorite stops. We'd all agree that we were just leveling to a certain level before putting the app down and waiting for battling, trading, or 
next generation updates updates that we hope will come soon <laughs>